one of the things I wanted to share through your questioning about science is that I've had psychiatrists, I've had professors in universities in, uh, well, University in Toronto, one specifically, and they're aligned to quantum physics. So the science of quantum physics and having had or had sessions with the few that I had sessions with, they were aligning to me sharing this is quantum physics. Mm -hmm. But I am pure in the way that I have no background knowledge of anything of quantum physics. I don't even, I do I, nothing to do with reading and remembering and schoolwork. I am just not connected with, never have. So the science behind it is quantum physics. But again, I know nothing about quantum physics, but what I share on is lower frequencies of energy of those vibrations that offer different experiences of the spectrum of possibilities that will unfold of that lower frequency and vibration. Past generations were not in the space of time now that it is unfolding now to allow the lower frequencies and vibrations that were attached to our parents and those who harmed us in the, our lifetime, they were repeating the lower frequencies and vibrations that vibrated through their soul being that has come here to learn, grow, and evolve through this experience. So as a child going through the experiences of trauma, was passed on from those who harmed us, repeating what was done to them, passing on to us. When we heal using our main source of energy of all that is, of using that highest frequency of light to then attach to the lower frequencies and vibrations of those gifted light workers that have come here who have the knowledge and wisdom of these lower frequencies of vibrations, they gain the authority over them to understand them and can bring freedom to those who are stuck with these attachments of lower frequencies and vibrations that cause the feeling of the suffering within the human form. So to bring healing to a child to work with and have the understandings of the lower frequencies and vibrations to remove it from those who carry it can no longer feel and be that vibration of that channel that offers those experiences that will unfold as suffering in this world. So looking back and in this moment now healing childhood trauma can happen instantly to remove the feeling of suffering attached to the thought of the experience of the past and then law of attraction will work in a higher way for a person because these channels are no longer attached to them that they can move on in their life being risen to their higher path of their soul's mission and purpose to feel that fulfillment will happen more swiftly than to have carried the energies of lower frequencies and vibrations that are bringing more experiences of suffering to them to do the work to rise out back into the pureness of light. So I hope with my voice note here and sharing to give understandings on the science part of what I have the alignment to of understanding and then the spiritual aspect of how lives can be transformed instantly. It's instant when we remove the right channels that those are ready to face those experiences that brought to them, the energy that continues to cause them to suffer. And this is why people suffer with mental health in this world. This is the core reason to mental health for those who deeply suffer. As I once was diagnosed with PTSD, 
manic depressive disorder, having the suicide attempts, 12 of them throughout my life, starting at the age of 12 with my first one of not feeling worthy or good enough. So this has been the core to bring instant transformation. I have not suffered ever since of any form of mental health after 40 years of suffering. Okay, there we go. So I hope this will help you and absolutely feel free if you want to share any of this. Um, yeah, if you want to share any of this without altering um, the intention of the words that I am using and the way that I'm using the words, because then it drifts off and takes away from the alignment of what I know of the context through that intention that does bring freedom.